हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल टिल नाउ वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अप टू वर्किंग विथ यू डी पी सॉकेट टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू सी हैंडलिंग विथ हैंडलिंग मल्टीपल कनेक्शन बिटवीन क्लाइंट एंड सर्वर वी हैव वर्क विद टी सी पी एंड यू डी पी क्लाइंट सर्वर प्रोग्राम इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर the this uh, client server program have many limitation like uh, as we have seen that server only serves one client and then exit right and the same limitation is of client also and also there is an one additional problem in the previous client server program that when the client call method which are as dot we have seen receive method then it is possible that the receive method will only return one byte that is as we have seen that uh, we are passing argument uh, 1024 right so as we have seen uh, 1024 is the buffer size argu argument which is a maximum amount of data to be received at once that means it does not means that the receive method will return exactly 1024 byte it is a maximum amount of byte right and also send also behave this way okay the same way send method send returns the number of byte sent which may be less than the size of data passed in so it means that we are responsible for checking this and calling send as many as time as needed to send all the data so if we summarize the then we have uh, two problem at this point the first one is how do we handle multiple client connections concurrently and the second one is uh, that we need to call send and receive until all the data is sent or received right so in this lecture we are going to deal with this problems so what can we do to solve this problem so to solve the problem of concurrency there are many approaches as we all know that the traditional choice is to use thread to deal concurrency right and the more recently a popular approach is to use asynchronous io okay it is uh, made basically introduced as a standard library in python 3.4 to deal with concurrency let's see the traditional method first that is we will see the handling multiple connect connections using thread module in python i hope you all know about threading we will going to write code of multi threading server which can work with multiple clients so we will write the code of one multi threaded server and two client in this uh, set of lectures so let's start coding open your ide firstly i am going to write the server program multi thread server program and uh, i am using pycharm for coding okay so as we all know now that first we have to import the socket module of python so import socket and also here we have to import another module that there is thread library for multi threading so right from underscore thread import star so i have imported all the method now let's create a socket object using socket method of socket library so server socket is equal to socket dot socket right let's declare host and port on which we need to communicate with client so let's declare some variable so host is equal to let's say i am going to 
connect uh, 127 that is local machine uh, that 127.0.0.1 and port say which is in the range uh, we already know so let's say 1233 3. yeah and also we have to declare one more variable that is uh, thread count which tracks the number of thread running we will see what this variable is used let's first declare so thread count is equal to zero okay now let's bind the host and port to the socket server we created ever in the program so if it binds successfully then it start waiting for the client otherwise it just returned the error that occurred while establishing a connection we have seen this in the previous lecture so i hope you are all able to understand this concept very easily so try and uh, we are going to uh, write in the try and accept block right so try server socket dot bind host comma port and accept uh, we will print error if any error occurred so accept socket dot error as e print that error e and now let's uh, start listening so server socket dot listen uh, and here uh, we have seen that we have to pass some arguments so let's say five and here let's say i am printing here waiting for connections okay now here we need to support handling multiple clients or thread at the same time simultaneously so for that we need to create a function that handles request from individual client by a thread right so let's define a new function named client uh, let's say client underscore thread which connect to each individual client client on different addresses given by the server right so in this function we are going to use receive function to get data from each client independently and then we will simply return the reply to the particular client with the same message right with a string concatenated says hello i am server in the beginning right so let's write this function we have already seen the use of uh, receive method and send method in the previous lecture so so to uh, do write this function we have to receive to do this uh, uh, reply and uh, send receive and send we have to you we have to take a argument a connection object right so such that it is able to send and receive the data from the client so let's define in such a way like this so define client underscore thread and here i have to accept an object so connection and now let's say i'm going to send so connection dot send and suppose i am going to send a welcome to the server to the client so str dot encode and uh, message is welcome to the server now uh, now let's uh, start a infinite loop in that infinite loop we are going to uh, receive a data from a client in this infinite loop so data is equal to uh, connection dot uh, recv method here i am passing 204 this is the maximum byte which it can receive and uh, let's say i have to also reply to that client so reply is equal to hello i am server and then i am passing the same hello i am server and data dot uh, which i have received the data i am again forwarding it again sending that data so plus data dot decode and we have already seen this uh, and we have to decode into utf8 string format now if not data then we have to 
break this uh, infinite loop so if not data break and uh, we have to send this reply to uh, the servers uh, to sorry to the client so connection dot and here we are using send all function which try to send all the uh, reply uh, to the client so connection dot send all str dot encode uh, here i am passing reply and uh, and lastly we have to close the connection so connection dot close these things we have already seen in the previous lecture so if you are facing any problem here how i have done all these things so please refer to the previous lecture and again uh, come to this video and again start from here so now now we have to now accept the client socket connection right so since run server runs all the time which means that we don't want to make that our server got stopped right so for that we need to use again the infinite while loop to make it run server endlessly until we manually stop the server so uh, let's uh, write a infinite loop while true here i am accepting the connection so client comma address as we already know that accept method uh, gives two uh, returns two things that is a client object and uh, address and address contains a uh, ip address as well as port number so let's also print it out so print connected to address 0 that is uh, ip address and address 1 which is port number so i have to convert into a string so str address 1 okay now here uh, there is a difference so here i have to call start new thread function right to generate a new thread here we have to pass that uh, function which we have defined that threaded client and that client object which we have to pass in that function okay right so we have a client uh, object as well as a function which we have to uh, generate a new thread so let's pass it and uh, after generating new thread we have to increment the th increment the thread count so thread count plus is equal to one and uh, here we are printing the thread count how many uh, thread is running so let's print it also so print uh, thread number plus str thread count right and right yeah and uh, after that we have to close this connection of the server socket so server socket dot close right so now we have completed the multi-threaded server socket so program so in the next lecture we are going to write uh, two client and we try to connect we will trying to establish a connection between one server and a two client i hope that you are able to understand this lecture thank you guys